Hello, Watchman here, and welcome back to some more Higurashi when they cry. Um, let's continue. We went to the place in the mountains of Yaguchi that Rena had picked for burying the bags. Carrying corpses is a scary thing to do, but it made us united more strongly because of that. Since each part of the corpse is in a separate plastic trash bag, we can tell what's inside each bag by touching it. First, we forced ourselves to laugh whenever we had to, to touch the bodies, because we were scared. But after a while, we got used to it, to a point where we could make jokes about it. Of course, all of that was probably a bluff, but we all tried our best. Neon, somehow, had detailed knowledge of how to hide corpses, and she told me to dig a hole deeper. Dig the hole deeper. Rika-chan helped to carry the bags. Sadako used her talent for setting traps to perfectly camouflage the place where we buried the bags. Me? I was in charge of digging the hole. Rena dug it earlier, but I made it a little deeper. After we finished all that, we walked back to the place where we parked our bicycles. We looked back at the place where we buried the bags. It was completely unnoticeable. We'd never be able to find the place again once we left for home. That's how perfect it looked. Mion said it cheerfully, as if we just finished club activities or something. We had no more bags to carry, and we no longer had any burden to carry either. We got on our bicycles, but Rena was still standing there, looking into the distance. Oi, Rena. <laughs> Rena's face looked slightly red. Neon touched Rena's forehead. It was actually a little warm. She had a tough day today. She had to go through so many things. She had to find a place to hide the corpses. She had to dig a hole. We caught her with the bags. We talked about our feelings. And we forgave each other. She must be exhausted after a day like that. Lena, today I'm going to sleep for a while. Thank you. Lena, we've done everything we've done. That's why we're going to be able to save ourselves. I think we've done everything we've done. やっぱり私自分を騙せてなんかなかったどう自分の行為を美化したって私は心の中で恐ろしいことをしたと怯えていたみんなに助けてもらってここまで来てこんななんだもんもしみんなと会わずに一人で全てを片付けていたら私は
その日は一生かけて来るか来ないかを探ることになると思いますですそうかもしれませんわね簡単に忘れられることではありませんでしたよ仮に生涯忘れられなくてもいい大切なのは最後まで全員の胸にしまって秘めておくことなんじゃないかと思う思い出させない方が大事だからね We nodded in agreement. Just my house came into view. Jana, Mina. Ashta, Mata Gako de. It's more Torini. It's more Torini. It's more Torini. Torapuni, Cacaria Soma said this one, eh? Jana, get ya. After I parted with them, I still felt hot and dizzy. Felt really weird. I was even staggering to the front door. I felt as if I was floating in the air, like I just took some very strong cold medicine. Today, something was very shopping, shocking, something that made me super happy, and something very embarrassing happened to me. I felt as if My heart and my mind were about to explode because they were filled to the brim with both happiness and sadness. I don't know whether I made a crucial mistake today or if I had the happiest day of my life. I don't know which it is, and all I could do was to stare blankly into space. I felt frustrated too. Even though they were my friends, I was caught in the act of abandoning the corpses. But at the same time, I felt relieved that my reliable friends accepted what I did. Those emotions were all mixed up in my heart, and they were equally strong, making it difficult for me to decide what I was feeling. I was losing my sense of balance. It was like everything was warping around me. I heard sounds as if I was in the shower. Everything left me with a feeling of unreality. When those emotions were about to make me lose control, I felt a heat on my wrist. The part where Kichi couldn't grab me earlier started throbbing. My feelings weren't cooperating with me, but the heat on my wrist calmed them down for me. I don't know how to express what I felt when my friends and I held shoulders together in a circle earlier, but the feeling was the only thing I knew to be real. Tadaima! Ore? As soon as I opened the front door, I smelled it. It smelled really good. My father isn't good at cooking, but he likes trying to cook creative dishes. I remember he used to cook something very challenging whenever he was in a good mood. So, this smell was a sign that he felt that way. That's why I always liked this smell. The reason he's in a good mood is because he found a job. And not just any job. He found a job with a company created by friends from his old workplace. They remembered my father and promised to hire him. He told me that some of his other colleagues from the old company are also working there. It must be very encouraging for him to work with people he knows, because he hasn't worked for a long time. The dinner looked great in contrast to how it tasted. <laughs> it was a dinner to celebrate his new life, to show his determination, to regain his bond with his daughter, and to make a clean start. I talked about a lot of things with my father that night. It had been a long time since I l o v e Since the last time I talked with him like this, I don't remember when it was, but it reminded me of the days I was still happy, which meant that I'd finally returned to that time. My father still believes that Tepe is coming back one day, so he's still very cautious about locking the doors and windows, and he gets scared every time someone rings the doorbell. I told him so many times that they'd never come back, but I couldn't convince him because I couldn't tell him the reason why they won't. He'll eventually realize that he's free. I'm sure it won't take too long. My heart was full of many, many emotions that day. If emotion could actually burst a heart open, it might happen to me. My brain must have been overworked because so many things happened at once. My head was still fuzzy, but I managed to crawl into bed. It felt like the ground was moving. I had totally lost my sense of reality. Remember that I once felt like this when I got the flu. I might get a high fever tomorrow, but I don't care. I don't care if I get sick tomorrow. I just wanted to enjoy the fact 
as I took a step forward towards the future of my decision. Katie kun told me something like that today. The high fever and the dizziness made me feel frustrated for some reason. But whenever I felt frustrated, I felt the heat on my wrist too. I grabbed my wrist with my left hand tightly, made my frustration go away, and it brought me relief. Even the dizziness I didn't like just before made me feel like I was in a deep, a down-filled futon. I love this music, especially with memories from the last chapter with Shion and all. I was falling asleep on that down-filled futon my first night in the new world. This dizziness didn't go away for a few days, but I gradually got used to it. This new world looked like the world I used to live in before, but the sunshine was a little brighter and Keiichi Kun's smile looked a little more gentle than before. We made more noise than we used to. We spent every day slowly, but in high spirits. Oh, what an idiot I am. I underestimated that dizziness and I caught a summer cold in June. I wanted to get better as soon as possible. I should have taken a day off from club activities, but I forced myself to play with them every day. That made it hard for me to get better. I finally learned my res lesson recently. I don't need to feel frustrated. There's no limit to happiness in this world. As long as we keep pushing for it, it will continue forever. I don't need to feel frustrated anymore, because tomorrow I will have the happiness I have today. We will have the Watanagashi festival next Sunday. Michan tells us that we will have a lot of fun and that we will go extra crazy. I really can't wait. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Letter from the forestry office. Right, gives me a bad feeling. You're crying right now. <laughs> it's still June, yet the air is filled with the cries of cicadas. How is everyone in Hinamazawa doing? The Washington Festival is coming just around the corner. We staff members from the forestry service are going to perform a wood sculpting demonstration at the festival. We'll be happy to lend out our tools and teach your kids how to sculpt wood themselves. It'll be an excellent memorial gift. Also, we'd like to inform everyone that we're going to cut down trees in the local hills this summer as part of the number XX or Forest Landscape Management project. This project involves preserving the beauty of a forest by cutting down old trees and planting new ones. Why cut down old trees? Old trees are more beautiful ones. Hmm. The forestry service needs volunteers who are interested in helping us cut down the old trees. We can enjoy the beauty of nature under the blue sky while helping, us, while helping out with this preservation activity. The project will begin during summer break, so you can bring your kids too. This will be a good opportunity for your kids to learn about nature and have a valuable experience. Yeah, they're going to find the bodies, aren't they? Someone is. Locations of the project have the forests in the Takatsuto and Yaguchi areas. It's going to be dragged up.笑い続けていれば、いつか幸せになれると信じてきた。誰かのことを思えば、相手も自分を思ってくれると信じてきた。悲しかった思い出を置き去りにして、少女は明日を見つめようと前を向く。甘えず、頼らず、たった一人で。未来を切り開くために。その先にあるものは幸せか、それとも不幸せか。罪滅ぼし。誰かを愛したかった。
でも本当は誰かに愛されたかった。はい、いらっしゃいませー。So, what's n e g o t i a t e d y 特製のフランクフルトはいかがですかあよっシロップはいちごにメロンにブルーハワイがあるよ。Okay, what about this is wine? <laughs> Strawberry syrup, melon syrup, syrup, blue syrup. はあ、does it taste? おみくじたこ焼きいかがですかあたりにはマスタードがげっしり<笑> There are a great many booths at this year's Watanagashi Festival. Anything can become a festival if there are vendors selling food and music for bomb dancers, I thought. It's still June, but it had been extremely hot the past few days, almost as if it's already summer. And you have a June festival with bun dance music under this kind of weather. The only thing that's missing to make it a perfect summer festival is fireworks. I heard a voice coming from my portable radio. Oh, the noise sounds p u n i s h i n g This earphone. It looks a little like I'm secretly listening to the horse races while on duty. Hi, o i s h i d e s u Kandori o k o <laughs> so, no, m u g i c h a Kimuchu ni no meru m u g i c h a No me nai m u g i c h a So, no, m u g i c h a Kan nara m u r a t o i te kudasai. Kopu nara jitai de onegai shimasu. お寮のばあさまやだなあ大石は巡回中でいつ戻ってくるかわからないとか言ってごまかせませんいえその無線があるんだからすぐに呼び出せるだろうってすごい剣幕でしてはいケイヴンあのばあさま死ぬ時は絶対脳梗塞ですね了解了解すぐに戻ると丁重に丁重にですよお伝えくださいあわんまいかさをはつげばくんみんこわっておりますおるふさん、a group of kids came running towards me from behind after a quick look at them I noticed that they were the granddaughter of the old bag and her friends they occupied a corner of the shooting gallery Stall making a lot of noise. Mion Sonazaki. In acting her age, she's a cute normal girl. But do I ever hate it when she acts like a member of the Sonazaki family? She'll be the boss of Okonomiya Yakuza territory in 10 or 20 years, just you wait and see. And while I was thinking about things like that, I noticed that Mion wasn't the one taking leadership of her group this time. It was the boy. That boy, I know. He just moved here recently. The boy from the Maybara mansion. Keichi Maybara, was it? I heard that the Maybara family is from the city, and they're supposedly very rich too. But he doesn't flaunt his family's wealth, and he has a good reputation because of that. Even though he just moved here, he's already adjusted to his new school, and he's popular with his classmates too. Everyone in the village seems to like him as well. He's very interesting to watch, he's a person of many moods. Boys of his age sure have a lot of energy. Ah, to be young again. Oi! Tsugi wa Rena da ze! Koko de Rena wa kanari oishi timing da ze! Daijobu, Rena. Guai wa runja nai no? Ahi, go me. Chuto sha teki wa yoko de mite tai ka na. Nara. 無理をしないで休んでいるといいのですでは
レナさんを飛ばしてここでいよいよ真打ち私の出番でございましてよおほほ It looked like only four of them were having a good time. The girl called Rena seemed outside of that circle with smiles. Her name is Rena Ryugu. What was her real name? I couldn't remember, but I can check when I get back to the station. Rena is only a nickname. I believe she moved here a year before my Barakun did. Her mother divorced her father, or something like that. She's a strong girl who does all the housework by herself. She's a very modest girl, I'm told, which is rare in this era. Unlike my Barakun, it seemed like she hadn't really opened up to her friends just yet. They'd looked like a group of five, yet there's distance between her and the others. It's a little sad, you know. My Barakun has become a part of the village, but Rena is still by herself. Well, that's just how it looks to me. おい資料会、地域のお祭りにまで挨拶に来るなんて、うちの所長は地域交流に豆だな。沖ノ宮の祭りに来たって話は聞いたことないのに。ああ、こちら高杉です。大石さん聞こえますか？どうぞ。はいはい大石です。ただいま全速力で期間中ですよ。もう一分ほどお待ちを。If I don't hurry up, even the chief might start end up calling me. I ran back to the headquarters tent. Much less about Tomitake san this time. Oi san, Sensei ga tochak してます Ah, do mo do mo. Do desu ka, Irie no Sensei? Oi, she entered the cordoned off area. In there, people from forensics were taking pictures of the corpse from various angles. Iri was squatting down next to the dead body of Jiro Tomitake. When he stood up, he looked pale. Shinjirare masen. Sorry, I was just that the Shinjirare masen yo. Shoken de mita kagiri, otoke wa nodo o kaki mushite imasu. Sorry mo, jibun no te de desu. こいつはまっとうな死に方じゃない。十中八九、何らかのやばめな薬物でしょう。彼は何らかの薬物の常習者だったということでしょうか。さあね、そいつを調べるのはどうやら我々の仕事になりそうです。大石さん、この角材は。多分仏が振り回したんじゃないかと思います。で、途中で捨てて、喉をかくのが楽しくなっちゃったんじゃないかと。Why are you saying that? 角材を何のために振り回したんでしょう自衛のためと考えるのが一番自然だと思います。Okay. Yeah. 仏の体に外傷がいくつかあるのに気づいてますええ、打撲症を思わせる跡がいくつか散見できます。ってことは、一番考えられるストーリーは、仏が祭り終了後、沖ノ宮へ帰る途中、ここで何者かに襲われた。それで、取り押さえられて、怪しげな注射とかそういうのをされて、その結果、錯乱させられて死に至らしめられた。喉をかきむしるように誘導できる薬物なんて聞いたことがありません私もそっちは専門じゃありませんが薬物中毒の一つに自傷行為ってあるらしいじゃないですかまあその辺はうちの鑑識のじい様が調べてくれるでしょうおいさん失礼しますここから数百メートルのところに富武二郎のものと思われる自転車が見つかりましたあ
hang on. Um, in the third chapter, um, what's her name? Uh, uh, the nurse person. Um, didn't she have his bicycle in her? Um, like boots or something? Or trunk or whatever you want to call it? あ、そうですか。ありがとうございます。何か手がかりとかはいえ、初見では特には今鑑識が言っています。じゃあ、つまりその自転車があった場所が襲撃場所と考えていいんでしょうね。あ、なそうですプランテッド。それで戦ったり
まだ外者とも星とも決まったわけじゃありませんもちろん無関係って可能性だって残ってますし明日は月曜だってのも構わずその辺の飲み屋で飲んだくれてる可能性もありますからね信じられないどうしてこんなことがまあ私だって信じられないです日な沢村連続開始事件これで5年目ですよ親代様のたたりが5連続ってことになっちまいますくそなんとか今年で尻尾をつかんでやりたいな定年前にこの山だけはなんとか片付けたいんです<笑>おしいおし。But he wouldn't be able to take the initiative anymore. In other words, this year was his last chance for revenge. Would he have put his head in the lion's mouth to capture the culprit? Or she quietly clenched his fist. I believe. I believe that this maze has an exit. Maze is a very convenient word. A maze always has an exit. You don't call it a maze if it doesn't have one. I know I'm on the right path towards the exit of this maze. I used to miss these minor divergences. But now I don't miss anything. I don't make any mistakes. This time I could feel a response that was different from all, than all the other times. I'm sure I can finally get to the exit of this maze. But, no matter which path I choose to come to this point, Jiro Tomotaka's son always dies. Oh. Oh, indeed. So is Rika not the only one? But wait. Hmm. Doesn't quite mesh with the fourth one because he didn't know then, and st he still didn't know. Hmm. In any case, um, that's going to be all for today. I hope you all enjoy. Let me know any feedback you have in the comments. And until next time. See ya.